Right, I'll start again. I've been filming and not had it switched on. So we're at the fields. Um, blowing a hoolie today. As usual. We've only just got here. It's taken us all our strength to get this far. We're hiding behind a wall. Which is helping a little bit, but not great. Isn't that a weird cloud up there? Somebody ought to drop him off somewhere on the way. I really don't know. I really don't know why. I'm sure there's a very good reason but why someone doesn't go in there and shoot him or bomb him, the Kremlin and everything. I know it would mean World War Three, but I think it's going to come to that anyway because he's not going to stop, is he? He's a nutter. It's like they're, they're sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? Putting back the inevitable. It's going to happen. And meanwhile, people are getting killed. I think, I think yesterday it was about 40 or 45 orphans from that country came here yesterday. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. They've got no parents between the age of two and 16, I think got no parents, no family, all been killed and they've come to the UK yesterday and it's so sad. I know they'll find homes and I know that they'll be looked after but that's not the point. A month ago they were with their family having beans on toast or something, you know. This, no, this thug should be put down. If that was a dog or bear or something that was gone mad and rampaging through villages, they'd just shoot it. Yeah. Yeah, analogy. <laughs> but they wouldn't think twice. Wouldn't even consider any. Co well, there isn't any com consequences because they would say. You can't have a killer like that roaming the streets. Even a person, come to think of it. I mean, do you remember that bloke? Yeah, do you remember that bloke that was hiding in bushes for like 24 hours a few years ago? He went on the rampage, killed a load of people in a village. I can't remember his name, but the police and he was out in this village. And I think um, Gascoigne, the, the um, footballer, knew him and went to try and talk to him. I did nothing. They ended up shooting him. Well, this is boring, isn't it? Come on, you lot, move! <laughs> no! Come on, you're going to play? Can play? You can play now, Kane. Bray. Go on. Go and get him. Because this is a dead, boring video so far. I didn't know you watched Sanditon as well. Oh, I didn't know you did, because I was going to ask you. Because I don't know what Brit Box is, and I told Liam to tell me how to get it on the way. You can't. You've got to pay for it. Oh, I don't know. They've... <coughs> I would imagine it's like Netflix. It's another channel thing, you know, like Sky. And I would imagine they've offered Sandington, the company or whatever has made it, more money than ITV was offering. And so they've gone over there. So the regulars that watched the first series, you don't get to see it anymore. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, 
it's, I'm not big on period dramas really, like pole dark and that sort of thing. I'm not, not that bothered about them. But um, yeah, I really got into a Jane Austen book novel. And um, I got into that one. What's um, Bridgerton? Oh, that's on Netflix. No, that went straight on to Netflix. We've never had that. Yeah. yet Angela Black on YouTube I know I know it all runs into and disappears <laughs> Um, the ITV hub and watch the whole series. Yeah, what's the point? Though? Well, I suppose if you've got lots of time. <clears throat> no, but you can see it all if you want to. Have you ever watched um, This Will Hurt? No, I've seen BBC that One. Uh, I, I didn't watch it, and um, Stella said to me, Oh, you ought to watch that, it's funny. <coughs> and then I saw the book in. Um, the shops and I thought oh it must be a, a true story this it's about a doctor who works in um, maternity ward and everything so I watched it on the box set thing caught up, caught up with it on ITV or BBC One hub thing iPlayer that's the word I'm looking for oh that is absolutely brilliant that program absolutely brilliant I watched the first episode twice because I was doing something on the computer at the same time and I kept missing bits and thinking well how's that got like what's he saying that for and so I put everything down and I started again and watched it um, without doing anything else and I watched about six episodes last weekend six hours of television Last night, that no. Irish one. No. Oh, that's, that's a... supposed to be. They wanted to stop it or something after the first episode. Oh, did they? Yeah. I don't Why? Because it was a load of rubbish. Graham Norton wrote the book, oh. and um, and I think that's how it's got on in the first place, because it really is a load of rubbish. Oh, okay. so I I watched the first episode. That was enough for me. And it was on last night while I was doing the litter boxes and different things and um, nothing there made me stop and think, oh, what's happening here then? Yeah, oh, I remember that bit. What, what are they on about? Nothing. So that'll be the end of that. I won't bother that anymore. It's really quite weird, that cloud. Just like a spaceship. Right, but it looks like it's a resting period again, so I'll turn this off for a bit. There's movement. Oh no, but... Go and get him, Bray, Kane. Go on. Go and get him. This um, this will hurt program. Yeah. 
is about this doctor. He's gay, but nobody knows. He's um um I've forgotten what they call them. Not the yeah, but not quite um the doctor. It, there's one above him, the consultants above him. Intern is it or something? I don't know. And um, <coughs> he comes in on his first day, quite. Oh, what's the word? Can't think of any words today. Sort of a, a slightly aggressive, you know, do this, do that, I'm the doctor kind of attitude. And um, one of the patients was a bit of racist because the, the staff nurse or sister is black. And she says, I don't want that woman to touch my baby and all this sort of thing. So he more or less said to her, well, find another hospital there. Yeah. And he was quite rude to her. So, of course, the staff nurse was rude to him. I can sort my own battles out. You don't have to say anything. And he says, well, I don't want people talking about staff on my ward. So it's my ward, she said. And um, I'll sort it out. And she reported him to the something council. And... Um, which took up several episodes before you find out it's all right, he's not going to get sacked or anything. But um, then he has um, a, a gay boyfriend and they decided to get married, so they had an engagement party. But because he's not a very... Um, I would suspect he got, he's got that... Um, another word I can't think of now. Um, oh, it's ridiculous. What's that, that that woman in the chase has got? Medical. Uh, oh, um, Anne Hegarty. Yes. Where, where you don't want to be around people and you can't be bothered with them. And I think I've got it, actually. Yeah. But um, now I can't think of what art's called now. But I think it'll come out that he's got that because he's, he's lovely with the mums and the babies <coughs> most of the time. But, um, uh, that was two minds when the two wishes were Well, I didn't even didn't even come onto my radar when it started. Yeah, I don't always read it. I buy it and never look at it. But um, well, yeah, you're mad, isn't you? Have you? No treaties at all. No. Not on, is it? Eh? That's not on. There's no just waiting. <laughs> What's going on down here, Nook? My finger break. What's going on here, Nook? I recognise the rustle of the bag, the rustle. Yes, alright, you are. No, this is. <laughs> Don't know why I moved the camera. <laughs> <laughs> now he's going back to sit up. Yeah, I'm going back to my place now. Okay. Do you know there's a lazy madam lives down the other lane that backs onto ours and I think I told you a couple of well probably might even be six months or a year ago how time flies I caught this woman putting her rubbish in my bin yeah yeah and I asked her to come and take it out I got I haven't got enough room to take her rubbish on as well got enough for my own rubbish <coughs> so um she she has, and I know the bag she put in my bag, in my bin, was a white bag with a yellow thing to tie it up yeah. with. And ever since then, if I leave my bin in the back lane, which everybody else does, she puts her rubbish in my bin. So well, I just... Not all of it to get to your bin. Well, usually, especially on, well, normally on Mondays, because James, because I put them in the garden then, the front garden, James will fill them up with the litter bags and take the bin around and it's usually the very end one. So the bin men in the morning get to our bin first and put it back where they got it from. 
whereas everybody else's just gets put back wherever, you know. So I think because ours is on the corner, she'll, she come, which is what she did the day I was there. As she goes past, she comes to the first bin, chucks in the rubbish and carries on. And she just told me to F off. So, yeah. So, and ever since then, if my bins are out, although saying that, last week, my bin was the fourth one down. It wasn't on the corner. And she still put her rubbish in my bin. And I think she's doing it because she thinks it's winding me up. Doing it on purpose now. So, yesterday, I went and got my bins to put around in the front. And already yesterday when the bin men had been she put a bag in my bin that was took up half of my bin Did you take it out put it back in her own bin i put it took it out and left it on the in the lane and i thought if the bin men see that they're going because there might be something with a name and address on it i know she takes her bin because she lives at, right down the bottom sort of i don't know 12 13 14 i don't know one of the houses right at the bottom of the lane so her bin's right down there, but she's that lazy that she's already filled up a bag on the day the bin men came. So she couldn't be bothered to put it out the day before. Yeah, and she's going to try to, well, she wants to put it in mine. I left it out on the lane. she's um she does it because i've told stella about it stella well stella said to me one day someone is putting their rubbish in my bin and i told her about this particular woman and she's since heard um there's been four or five people up the lane got rubbish in their bins so she fills up everybody else's bin before she starts filling her own up well, she's got three kids, so I suppose she has got a lot of rubbish. I mean, she ought to go in the bloody bin. No one, anyone else, doesn't need to bother with her. But, um, yeah, it's... I mean, all you have to do is buy another bin. That's what I did. I bought another bin. Yeah. Because, well, I've got three, actually, because I've got next door, so it's just an empty house. But, um, yeah, I've got two bins. The bin men said to me, because I was talking about it being heavy, with the litters in there and he said um i said if i buy another bin that might make it lighter he says yeah that'd be great i said can you empty two bins he says we've been told to empty whatever's here oh, so yeah. <coughs> it doesn't matter how many bins you got we'll empty them so i actually did buy another bin which was stolen in a half an hour Delivered it at one o'clock, was getting my lunch, went out half past one, it had already gone. I'm back on them. Oh, go on, go and play. I've got the camera out now. Play. Oh, I didn't get a chance to save photo. This off and play, and then time I've put it back on again, they don't play anymore. Looks a bit cold. Looks a bit. Oh, probably don't know what's happened. One minute it's hot, next minute it's cold. Not us 
Yeah, so it's No one wants to play with my beautiful boy, eh?
my stick. still okay for this trip to London yeah yeah so then I looked at the prices and because I could book it as a group you get a third bit of the price and also um, we're all um, can get a rail card I don't know if you get a third off if you buy the rail card and a group. So I've got to sit down and read it properly today. I haven't booked that, I might do that as well today. 